Hello, welcome to a trace simplifier. In this video tutorial, I will explain you about to use one of our app called Daces Pro. For in order to download the file from our site, you just need to register with us. And during the registration, please note down your email ID or the username and the password that you were registered with us. So because this is used to log in with our app so once you download the file so just move the file from your downloads folder or any other specific download folder to my documents or you can move that file to any of your drive other than the C so once you move the file from downloads folder so just extract it to a specific folder so in this case my folder is called DSS Pro you will see an application file here called DSS Pro. So once you click on this file, the app asks you to enter the username and password that you were registered with as. So in this case, I'm just entering the default one, which is used for our testing purpose. So, by default, the app asks you to enter some of the settings, which is very, which is very important and required for the app. So, the important settings are nothing but the EV fee, and the PayPal fee, and the profit margin that you want to earn on a particular product, and the minimum margin. If the profit margin in terms of percentage doesn't yield uh, to a profit or say some five bucks, so then the app revises the prices by calculating by calculating the new eBay price using this minimum margin and along with the eBay fees. And the next one is OVS quantity. So revising. So when the item was found out of stock or say the item quantity is zero, then the app revises the quantity from zero to some quantity that you were specified here. So in this case, the default quantity to revise here is four. So and the next thing, enabling test mode. Enable test mode helps you to monitor our app. I mean, monitor monitoring the app performance. Say, by enabling this test mode, the app just calculates the new eBay price and find out the item that were out of stock and find out the item that were need to be revised to some quantity from zero. So it will not update your uh, eBay listings. It just show what are the items that need to be listed. Sorry, that need to be reprised in terms of quantity and price. And finally, the PayPal email ID, which is required for listing a new item to your eBay selling. So once you are done with the settings, so just click on the save button. Once the saving is done, so just click on this button. So in this app, there are totally five features, and they are my listings and lister the repriser the new sales and settings so my listings my listings is nothing but it will show you the list of items that you were listed in your ebay selling account by default the no all items will be shown here this is because there was uh, as the application is launching for the first time there will be no database because the database is created only when the repriser does it's one cycle of job here one cycle of job in the nothing in the sense the repricing by getting the whole items from UEB selling and just checking what are the price revised items and what are the OIS items and what are the quantity items sorry what are the items that need to be revised so once this process is done then only uh, during this repricer the app automatically saves the active items that were fetched from your eBay and it will save into your into your local database. So now see here the my listings is updated with the default listings that you are listed in your eBay selling account. So in this future what you can do is you can just filter what are all the active items or you can filter what are the out of stock items in your listings. See this 
during when the item is out of stock it means that the item is not available at amazon.com but during this process the price the amazon price will not be shown here this is because the item as it was out of stock the price will not be shown here and finally the act two so by filtering to act two it will show you the list of active items in your ebay selling account in this testing account we have only 50, we have all about uh, 18 items but the active items is all about 15 there also you can search for a specific item here using as in code or are using the item id or using the amazon title and finally in this future you can export your listings to an excel file sorry in this app you can export the whole listings to NCSP file only. Uh, note that the app can save your listings of about of about one million dollar sorry one million items you can save sorry sorry you can save only hundred thousand items okay in my case so this is the listings that I were exported using the app. You see, so these are the items that were exported. And finally, sorry, and there is a next feature in our app that is called Lister. So before I am going to explain about the Lister, I will explain you about Reprisal see the current there are 14 cycles of repricing has been done which means the app checked the items for 15 times so in in this case the current ebay account that i use it with this app have only 15 to 18 items so that's why the repricer is working very fast so if you want to be what are the price revisal and what are all the out of stock items and what are all the items that were revised the quantity from zero to some specified quantity so just click on the number you will see the items that were revised sorry uh, by default the settings here we enable the test mode so if we enable the test mode this item cannot be updated with the price you see here you see here the new price is 36.86 but it is not updated this is because you enable the test mode so in this so in this way through this it helps you to analyze the app performance so uh, rather than using them say So if it is in test mode, so the eBay price is not updated. Where you can just check the prices that need to be updated here. You can calculate your eBay price using the setting using the eBay fees and the profit margin that you are set here. Uh, this is we give this feature in order to test at your side only. So if you don't want to test. If you don't want to enable the test mode so just disable this and just click on savings in the next time when the reprice is performing the next cycle you will see the updated price just check here the cycle number 13 has six items and the cycle number 14 has zero this is because there were no items to check whether there were no items to be reprised so when we go to the 13th cycle when you click on this any of the item from here you see the item is updated with the price 36.86 which is the new ebay price here 
we can check another item 36.04 36.04 so similarly stock revise there is no items that were revised from zero quantity and here there is only one item that need to be set to out of stock this is because when the item is not sold by amazon sorry when the item is not an fba item so in this case this item is set to out of stock this is because the items were sold by some seller but it is not fba okay so that's why the item is that that's why the item were set to out of stock here so you can check i think this is my default browser next feature in the app is lister so you can list the new items either by using async codes or through by pasting the link here so first we'll go go through by providing some of the async codes here so just go to the amazon.com for uk customers you can go for amazon.co.uk this app supports both uk and us so select any of the categories say arts crafts and savings select any of the subcategories or or you can look for an option to find amazon prime so once you found items here just copy the async code async code and provide the async codes here one by one the new line i'm selling an items which are more than more than 25 dollars so so for now i had taken two async codes so after taking the asset course, so just click on the list button. So first the app will scrap the two items and then it will try to upload the whole two items to our selling account. So you need to wait until it uploads. The next feature in this app is new sales. New sales helps you to view the list of items that were sold at eBay where these items were sold but not yet shipped if you want to view the sales or the listings that were sold in the last one day two days or three days so just select the number of days and just click on the find button in this case i am checking for the sales that happened in the last one day please note down here these sales that are shown here is the sales that were happening in your eBay selling account, but the items were not yet shipped. Okay, so this app, this feature helps you to view the list of items at, that sold at your eBay account. So when you click on any of this list, our app automatically opens a court page link. If you click on continue, so the Amazon will add this item to your cart page. Also, using the shipping address that was shown here, you can order the item manually. In my case, I will order it. So I'm going to add new shipping address here. You see, so this is the shipping form. So you can just copy the shipping address here no doubt this shipping address is a shipping address that was provided by the buyer at ebay you know you don't need to just cop, uh, to copy or paste you just click on this copy button so come here and just paste it so similarly the street one so remaining stuff city the state There were no state button here, so you can just copy the phone. 
and you can paste the phone here the postal code Jeta Provinci is the county, I think. Maybe I made it wrong. So just copy and paste it and just deal with it. So in this way, you can, uh, uh, this app will help you to order the items manually out of Amazon using the shipping address specified here for the particular new sale, new sold item. So finally settings, you know already about this. So whenever you want to change some settings say like you want to add minimum margin of about six dollars or six gbp or six pounds so just provide the input here and just save it and just come back to the repricer so the repricer automatically updates the prices so this is about uh day simplify pro tutorial so for more worries you can just contact us thank you for watching this video